Hey folks, uh, you know, it's always a bummer when you have a favorite pair of shoes that just doesn't make it. Well, so uh, a friend of mine, you know, brought these over and said, hey, Wade, can you take a look at these? Is there a way to save it? What's the issue? So here we have a, uh, this is the, I think they're Swedish, um, you know, walking shoes and uh, really comfortable, a little bit on the heavy side. But what these have is a polyurethane midsole. And the problem with these shoes is they're about you know, five or six years old. And depending on how, you know, the compound and how you care for them, polyurethane foam, it just decays. And, and this is a problem that you're gonna see on, you know, your fancy collectible OG Air Jordan shoes that have airbag midsoles. Um, you know, here's a, Here's what we're talking about, right? Uh, this shoe happens to be painted because otherwise you would see how the midsole turns yellow and decays. Uh, but here's the issue with any of these polyurethane um, shoes. It's kind of a trade-off, right? You, you have really excellent cushioning characteristics. Uh, they're easy to make. They're, they're durable. And they're they're not super lightweight, but this one actually has a has an EVA. Uh, actually, not I was going to say EVA, but no, this actually has a cork wrapped midsole inside. So that's a pretty nice feature. Um, but this kind of polyurethane foam, it doesn't last forever. And uh, there's a process called hydrolysis that affects it. But basically, you know, the bonds that they, the chemists work so hard to create when the foam is made, they just start to, to break down. And it's just, they're really, once it starts, there's really nothing you can do. Um, you know, this shoe, you know, you think, okay, it's, it's it was an expensive shoe and it should really last. But, um, you know, after several years, and if it, whether it heat cycles or you haven't worn it enough, uh, you know, there's a debate about whether if you wear it more, it'll last longer. <laughs> But I think the issue is if you if you have a pair of shoes like this, you know, you wear them, enjoy them, um, you know, they're going to be very comfortable, but they won't last forever. And it's kind of a trade off um, for how you how you make a shoe like this, um, whether it's EVA or PU, um, you know, this kind of PU uh, outsole is really inexpensive to make. The molds are not very expensive. The machinery to pour the foam is not very expensive. Um, but again, you know, this material will break down. EVA um, doesn't break down the same way. It can, however, shrink, which happens if exposed to too much heat. But again, uh, this is a common problem with polyurethane. And, uh, you know, it's a trade-off. Again, these shoes were, were dynamite, very comfortable, excellent shoes. But, you know, they, they won't last forever. Um, you know, nice cork uh, cork insole so you know what did what did i say to to my friend that brought these over i said well hey you know what enjoy them while you got them but uh you know and wear them again these were 200 dollars shoes and you think they would last for 20 years uh like a leather sole shoes but they just won't and just be be aware of that that when you see a big urethane midsole like this wear them enjoy them but don't be surprised that they they won't last forever